So uh, we uh, just shot an arrow into it, and it, it barely scratched it. Barely scratched it. Yeah. It was probably moving 275 feet a second. That was a 525-grain-ish arrow with, uh, yeah, even more than that, because it had the 125-grain head, so that was 545 grains. That's impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. It just destroyed the broadhead. The broadhead flattened at the tip, and then the arrow blew apart. Welcome back to Adam Tech. Recently, Elon Musk made that grand entrance at the USF One Grand Prix in Austin, Texas, driving his Cybertruck. Well, that wasn't just for show. Musk has been putting that Cybertruck through some serious bulletproof testing. So, what kind of shell is being used? How's it structured? How does it withstand the sheer force of a bullet? What types of bullets can this shell repel? And what's the real advantage of having a bulletproof feature? We're diving deep into all of that in today's video. Cybertruck's bulletproof exterior details. When it comes to sheer durability and passenger protection, the Cybertruck is constructed with an exoskeleton that's virtually impenetrable. At the heart of this robust design is the ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel skin, complemented by Tesla's armored glass. It's crafted from the same 301 stainless steel that SpaceX plans to use for its upcoming Starship spacecraft. In the Cybertruck, this steel layer boasts a thickness of 3 millimeters. When we talk about its hardness, we're looking at a minimum of around 400 Vickers hardness, with some areas potentially reaching between 420 Vickers hardness to 500 Vickers hardness. Thanks to that thick steel layer, each door of the Cybertruck weighs in at a hefty 60 pounds. Tesla even considered beefing it up to 4 millimeters, which would push each door's weight to a staggering 80 pounds. Bulletproof capabilities of the Cybertruck Tesla's Cybertruck, with its 3 mm thick layer of 301 stainless steel, the Cybertruck claims to withstand the force of a 9 mm bullet. Ian Harrison, the chief editor of Recoil, a competitive shooter, and a former British military captain stated, If fully hardened, 3 mm of 301 stainless steel is more than adequate to defeat any 9 mm Luger round. Beyond the steel, the Cybertruck's windshield isn't average glass. Elon Musk has mentioned that this seemingly flat windshield will also fend off 9mm bullets. Tesla has filed a patent suggesting that the Cybertruck's glass will be tougher and more resilient than almost any existing product in the market. This glass boasts a mere 10% failure rate when subjected to a 2 joule impact. Real-world tests? They've been done. A Cybertruck was spotted on the highway, riddled with what looked like bullet marks. A video shared by a member of the Tesla Owners Club of Silicon Valley showcased a Cybertruck cruising the freeway with around 40-50 bullet holes on the driver's side. Elon Musk responded to the bullet-ridden Cybertruck sighting, confirming they emptied a Tommy Gun's drum on the driver's door, Al Capone style. He assured that not a single bullet penetrated the passenger compartment. However, from the visuals, it seemed they targeted only the steel panels, sparing the windows. Community feedback has been mixed. Some argue that shooting a 45 caliber bullet at the Cybertruck doesn't prove its bulletproof nature. The 45 is a low velocity round with a broad, blunt tip. Had they used a bullet from an AK-47 or a 5.56 from an R-15, the door might have been completely compromised. Other high velocity handgun rounds, like the 5.7 millimeters or 22 Magnum, could potentially have similar effects. The real-world benefits of a bulletproof exterior. Safety in collisions is paramount, and the force of a bullet can be likened to certain high-impact crashes. The energy carried by a standard 9mm Luger bullet, weighing around 115 grains and traveling at an initial speed of about 1,200 feet per second, is approximately 368 foot-pound, or about 500 joules. When such a bullet impacts a material, the damage can be substantial, especially if the material isn't designed to withstand that force. Tesla's Cybertruck, with its ultra-hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel exterior, is engineered to repel such 9mm projectiles. But beyond just the impressive technical specs, what does this bulletproof feature mean for the everyday user? For individuals residing in areas with security concerns, a bulletproof vehicle isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. The Cybertruck could serve as an ideal vehicle for law enforcement agencies, providing an added layer of protection in volatile situations. Moreover, for the affluent, owning a bulletproof vehicle like the Cybertruck can also become a status symbol. 
a statement of wealth and power. After all, it's not every day you see someone cruising in a vehicle that can withstand gunfire unless they're a world leader. Today, we delve deep into the Cybertruck's bulletproof capabilities. Not only does it boast the strength to resist bullets, but real-world tests have also shown its resilience. And there's more excitement on the horizon. Tesla has announced a delivery event for the Cybertruck on November 30th. During this event, the automaker is expected to reveal all the details about the production version of this electric pickup. Now, we want to hear from you. Would you feel safer driving a bulletproof vehicle like the Cybertruck? Do you think it's worth the investment? Share your thoughts and dream destinations in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Adam Tech so you don't miss out on our latest deep dives into the world of tech. You don't see this every day. Is it even on? Cybertruck impresses an off-road test at Hollister Hills. A recent video showcased a Cybertruck navigating the famed stair steps at Hollister Hills State Vehicular Recreation Area, where Tesla has been conducting off-road tests. In Tesla's Q3 conference call, it was revealed that the Cybertruck can elevate its suspension up to 14 inches, which proved beneficial during the test. Unlike the Rivian R1T, the Cybertruck exhibited minimal electronic noise. The vehicle confidently tackled the challenge, with some observers noting its adjustment to the highest suspension setting for the tougher sections. Hollister Hills spans over 6,800 acres with diverse trails, including the stair steps. All right, that wraps up our deep dive into the Tesla Cybertruck's latest features and updates. From its innovative roof bars to the unique brake light design and even its off-road prowess at Hollister Hills, Tesla continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. But we want to hear from you. What do you think about these updates? Are they game changers or just hype? Drop your insights in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this ride with us, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Stay curious, stay tetchy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Welcome back to Adam Tech, folks. I'm sure everybody's wondering, how do the trucks do? Well, you can kind of see for yourself, these, are, these trucks are hardcore. They're super fun, super durable. Today, we're zeroing in on the Tesla Cybertruck, which has just rolled back into the U.S. Spotted right here in Orange County after a brutal test drive through the Beja 1000, a notorious desert race in Baja, California, Mexico. The car appeared dusty with two flat tires, but according to experts, it was a successful test. So what happened to this desert beast? How did it perform across this challenging journey? And what does this tell us about its range and overall performance? We're unpacking all of that in today's video, diving deep into the gritty details of the trial and evaluating the Cybertruck's post-trial state, ready to pushing the Cybertruck to its limits. Tesla engineers shared that before entering the test. Cybertruck went through a thorough technical inspection, testing its off-road durability, and provided plenty of seat time to adjust all firmware and variables, test all hardware, and put it at its limit fine-tuning and optimizing the Cybertruck's firmware and variables progress, encompassed adjusting various software settings that affect the vehicle's performance, such as traction control, power distribution, and suspension settings. A thorough hardware inspection was conducted, scrutinizing all Cybertruck components. This comprehensive examination included critical elements such as the electric motor, battery system, suspension, and drivetrain. The engineers aimed to push the Cybertruck to its limits, this involved testing the vehicle's maximum capabilities on off-road terrain, including its ability to handle steep inclines, rocky mountainous terrain, and other challenging obstacles. During the week-long, 1,280 miles journey from San Diego through Beja, two factory standard Cybertrucks, equipped with race seats and five-point safety harnesses, towards the goal of evaluating the Cybertruck's off-road capabilities and durability in extreme conditions of Beja. With its harsh desert tropical climate featuring scorching daytime temperatures exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 degrees Celsius, and nighttime lows dropping to around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius. Its terrain includes high mountains and rocky hills, with elevations ranging from 3,000 to 4,000 feet, 900-1200 meters, above sea level. 
This region's diverse landscapes combine deserts, rocky terrain, cactus forests, and more, unveiling the Cybertruck's performance after Beja test. The trial was live-streamed via Starlink technology, captivating over 1.1 million viewers in a concise 7.5-minute video. Agile and capable, Cybertruck showcases an ability to drift and perform nimble sideway turns on rugged terrains, maintaining an estimated average speed of 183 miles per day. Featured with a regenerative braking system, it efficiently utilizes electric motors to generate braking force when not accelerating. Furthermore, the electric drivetrain and instant torque adjustment from its motors enhance notable cornering and drifting capabilities. During the Beja testing, the Cybertruck faced minor tire issues, experiencing two noted flat tires. The prototype was presumed to be equipped with Pirelli Scorpion, a TR tires, which are summer off-road tires designed for SUVs, providing versatile and safe performance. These tires ensure reliable off-road driving with self-cleaning tread patterns and offer secure and controlled performance on varied surfaces, from gravel to mud. They also provide safety in braking and cornering on road resist aquaplaning, and minimize rolling noise, offering excellent traction in all conditions and durability against wear. The available sizes range from 14 to 24. Moreover, the electric pickup, while being put through its paces, was also a subject of public interest, being charged using publicly available Tesla Level 2 charging stations along the route. The Cybertrucks were able to complete their journey thanks to a series of Tesla destination chargers installed on the Beja California Peninsula, ensuring that the vehicles could be adequately powered throughout their rigorous test. Assuming the Cybertruck boasts a range of 300-350 miles per charge, based on Tesla's specifications, it likely necessitated approximately four charging sessions throughout the journey. In a rigorous test, through the notorious Beja 1000 Desert Race, the Tesla Cybertruck demonstrated its off-road capabilities and endurance. The vehicle, which was subjected to the harsh and diverse terrains of Baja California, aimed to showcase its durability and performance in extreme conditions. Conquering obstacles from steep inclines to rocky terrains, despite minor tire issues with two noted instances of flat tires, do you think the Cybertruck's performance in the Baja test reflects its readiness for consumer use in off-road conditions? How do you think it stacks up against competitors like the Rivian R1T in terms of off-road capabilities and endurance? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Adam Tech to stay updated with more insights and explorations in the tech world. Recently, images of the Cybertruck have continuously appeared on social networking platforms and many videos recorded by people all over the U.S. and Mexico have sparked many debates about the latest changes to the Cybertruck 2024. Is it true that the Cybertruck 2024 lacks a built-in tailgate ramp? Or is there more to this story than meets the eye? What sets the Cybertruck suspension apart, promising a smoother ride than ever? And just how impressive is its turning radius? What's the scoop on the Cybertruck 2024's spare tire truck bed features and the array of tow and trailer modes. Are these features game changers for truck lovers? We are here to satisfy your curiosity as we delve deep into these issues and uncover the secrets of the Tesla Cybertruck 2024. By directional charging and 240 volt outlet, one of the most intriguing features is its bidirectional charging, meaning it can receive and give back energy. This is paired with the inclusion of a 240 volt outlet. The utility implications here are vast, potentially allowing the Cybertruck to act as a power bank during blackouts or camping. When quizzed about the range, details remain tight-lipped. However, there are many speculations that the battery size could lie between 120 and 140 cow, with a range slightly below the 500 miles announced during the prototype unveiling. Performance the Cybertruck's performance is said to rival the Plaid Model XA, with several insiders confirming that the performance Cybertruck will harness the same tri-motor setup as the Plaid. That would explain why Elon Musk posted that the performance version of the Cybertruck kicks ass. This is thrilling news for those who felt the power of the Plaid Model X. Powered trunk. The frunk measures 6.5 feet, and access to it is easier since the adaptive air suspension can be lowered by 4 inches at the back. The tailgate features a system allowing a quad bike, bicycle, or motorcycle to be driven inside, using a built-in ramp. This detail alone, 
showcases the immense storage capacity the Cybertruck offers. Recently, there have been many videos showing the Frunk's power open slash close mechanism, suggesting that it will be utilized far more often than in other Tesla models. According to Tesla, the Frunk is expected to offer 100 cubic feet of lockable storage space. However, exact specifications have yet to be released. Rear glass and separate Bluetooth audio. One feature for adventurers is that the mid-gate glass opens, although there are no HEVSC ports in the bed. Although not ideal, this design makes camping in the bed viable with climate control. For those with families, a new feature that connects audio from the rear screen entertainment to Bluetooth headphones promises to be a game changer. No bulletproof windows. The interiors also don't disappoint. The seats in the Cybertruck are described as broader and more plush than the Model X plaids. With the floor carpeted like other Teslas, there's a distinct touch of luxury. We did notice that in a recent bizarre video shared online. Notably, the windows aren't bulletproof, but feature double glazed quiet windows like the new Model 3 for a serene driving experience. Tailgate ramp gets dropped. However, contrary to some rumors, the tailgate has no built-in ramp. The suspension promises to be more comfortable than the S-X models, and the turning radius is reported to be outstanding. In a nod to its rugged appeal, the Cybertruck's clearance levels on the suspension show the actual height instead of the typical low-slash-medium-slash-high settings. For example, the high setting stands at 14.5 inches. Spare tire. Finally, a nod to traditional truck features. The Cybertruck will be equipped with a spare wheel, an array of tow and trailer modes, and a bed equipped with three outlets. Delivery event. One last tidbit, the Cybertruck delivery event has been set. However, when it is remains a mystery. Tesla holds its third quarter earnings call on October 18, which would provide a perfect audience to make the delivery date public. In conclusion, the Tesla Cybertruck 2024 promises to be an exciting addition to the world of electric trucks with a host of innovative features and capabilities. While some rumors may have been dispelled, the vehicle's B-directional charging, impressive performance, powered trunk, and other unique attributes make it a standout in the electric vehicle market. Truck enthusiasts and tech aficionados alike eagerly await its official release and delivery event. Don't forget to stay tuned for more updates and subscribe to the Atom Tech channel to be part of this thrilling journey into the future of electric trucks. Technology enthusiasts and devoted Cybertruck aficionados have all turned their gaze toward the upcoming Cyber Rodeo, a highly anticipated event scheduled for September 22nd. This electrifying extravaganza promises to be the official launch of the groundbreaking electric pickup truck. During this event, thrilling announcements regarding its specifications, pricing details, and the eagerly awaited delivery start date will be unveiled. But dear reader, let's pause for a moment and indulge in some imaginative wonderment. Picture yourself behind the wheel of the all-new Cybertruck 2023, fully charged and ready to conquer the open road. How far would you venture? What sights would you behold? How would the experience make you feel? In this captivating video, I will take you on a journey of discovery, exploring why I believe the Cybertruck is the best electric pickup truck ever made. Is its actual range 350 miles, 500 miles, or 620 miles as rumored? What does that mean? All will be answered right now with a real experience journey. So stay tuned, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started unveiling the final design. Let's talk about our first look at the 2023 Cybertruck. The Cybertruck video provides us with a sneak peek at what's to come. It confirms that the massive windshield single wiper is here to stay for Tesla's electric pickup launch. The video also showcases the distinctive triangular rear view and side mirrors, which appear to be removable, as well as the rear and front light bars. While it's not entirely clear whether the production Cybertruck will come with the front half FI4 bumper camera that Tesla is equipping the Model 3 Highland redesign with, we expect to see more close-up photos soon. On the production front, the Cybertruck assembly line at the Gigafactory in Texas is bustling with electric pickup steel frames produced using Tesla's time. And cost-saving gigacasting method, a technique that other automakers like Toyota are increasingly adopting. Close-up shots of these GigaCast Cybertruck components reveal a few additional details about Tesla's upcoming truck with its stainless steel body. One notable detail is the offset firewall placement, which suggests that the initial batches of Cybertrucks will be left-hand drive only, 
likely targeting the North American market primarily, while right-hand drive Cybertrucks may come at some point. History with Tesla's Rod Model S or Model X suggests they might not hit the market anytime soon. Additionally, the castings of the Cybertruck feature at least three child seat safety hooks and two significant holes in the back, possibly for joint ventilation and pressure equalization or for air conditioning that circulates from the cabin to the truck bed, similar to some other trucks that can be retrofitted for this purpose. In any case, expect to see more production Cybertruck tests and pictures in the coming weeks as Tesla ramps up manufacturing for the big launch event, which Elon Musk mentioned they'll aim to schedule for this quarter, ending in September. Bi-directional charging capability. A game changer for Cybertruck? One of the things that is still a mystery and has not been specifically announced is the two-way charging ability of the Cybertruck 2023. An official coloring book discovered at a Tesla service station has ignited speculation about the brand's upcoming electric pickup truck's bidirectional charging capabilities. While it remains unclear whether the Cybertruck will also offer VTool vehicle-to-load functionality, like its competitors, the book's phrasing suggests a high voltage or high amperage output, distinguishing it from the standard 240V and 120V output seen in other manufacturers' models. Notably, Ford offers nearly 10 kW with its 240 v v 2 l functionality. Tesla has previously confirmed that some form of bidirectional charging is coming to its vehicles in the near future. A quote inside a Tesla coloring book shared by Gregor Truck on Twitter at a Tesla service center offers a tantalizing hint, has enough battery power to charge a Tesla. This indicates that the Cybertruck may be the first Tesla EV to feature vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle charging capabilities. The Cybertruck's substantial battery capacity, reportedly around 100 kWh, makes it an ideal candidate for V2L ambidirectional charging. Coupled with its impressive off-road and towing capabilities, it could serve as a versatile EV-specific recovery vehicle. The practical implementation of bidirectional charging will become clearer as we approach the Cybertruck's rumored late 2023 launch date. Several other manufacturers, including Bide, Hyundai, Kia, and Nissan, already offer V2A2 Evly SC Hitchwe, Tow It Rest ECOU Walfter UI vehicle, to home capabilities, but their power supplies typically top out at 3.6 KE. In contrast, Ford's F150 Lightning boasts up to 9.6 kW of power via its 240V Pro Power onboard feature, making it capable of charging another EV in a pinch, albeit at a slower pace. Rivian, on the other hand, has promised bidirectional charging. If Tesla successfully implements bidirectional charging features, it may challenge Ford's Jim Farley's skepticism about the practical appeal of the Cybertruck and revolutionize how we perceive electric pickup trucks. What to expect after 500 miles? Wow. Now it's time for us to have a real experience, an eight-hour trip with 500 miles in a fully charged 2023 Cybertruck. We started our journey from Los Angeles, California, where we picked up my Cybertruck 2023 from the Tesla showroom. We was amazed by its futuristic design and its spacious interior. We felt like I was driving a spaceship rather than a pickup truck. The Cybertruck had a six-seat crew cab pickup that was roughly the size of a Ford F-150. The tri-motor version that I chose had a range of 500 miles, a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, and a 0-60 MPH time of 2.9 seconds. It also had an adjustable air suspension that could raise and lower the vehicle by four inches in either direction and a self-leveling capability that could adapt to different terrains and loads. We decided to head north along the Pacific Coast Highway, one of the most scenic routes in the country. The Cybertruck handled the curves and hills with ease, thanks to its all-wheel drive system with four independent motors. The touchscreen displayed the battery level, speed, navigation, and other functions of the vehicle. It also had an advanced 17-inch touchscreen with a customized user interface. We also enjoyed listening to my favorite music on the premium sound system. The Cybertruck was so quiet that we could hear the waves crashing on the shore and the birds singing in the sky. During our journey, we encountered challenges that tested the Cybertruck's performance. At one point, a landslide forced a detour down a dirt road leading to a small lake. Wondering if the Cybertruck could function as a boat as claimed by Elon Musk, we decided to try it, activating the crab walk feature for maneuverability. We cautiously entered the water. To our surprise, the Cybertruck floated on the surface, allowing us to cross the lake effortlessly. After driving for about eight hours, we arrived at San Francisco, California. We had covered 500 miles with my Cybertruck 2023 and I still had 20 battery left. We was impressed by how efficient and powerful the Cybertruck was. 
we decided to explore the city and see some of its famous attractions, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, and Chinatown. We parked my Cybertruck near a Tesla supercharger station and plugged it in. It only took about an hour to fully charge it again. We then walked around the city and enjoyed its culture and diversity. This is how we would describe our imaginary driving experience with the Cybertruck 2023. It was amazing and unforgettable. You felt like you had traveled to the future and back with this vehicle. The Cybertruck 2023 was fast, smooth, comfortable, reliable, and versatile. It had everything you needed for a long road trip, a large range, a spacious bed, a powerful towing capacity, and a waterproof capability. It also had some unique features that made it stand out from other pickup trucks. A stainless steel exoskeleton, a tonneau cover, a crab walk feature, and onboard power and compressed air outlets that could be used for various purposes such as powering tools or inflating tires. This experience can show you the Cybertruck 2023 was better than any other electric or gas-powered pickup truck that I've ever driven or seen before. It was truly a game changer in the automotive industry. Greetings Tex Trailblazers and electric vehicle aficionados. Today we're revving up the future with an electrifying revelation. The latest most jaw-dropping upgrades to the Cybertruck 2023's solar panel. Are you ready to witness a leap forward in sustainable driving? Eager to know how Tesla has supercharged this game-changing innovation? And what mind-blowing features have been unveiled in the September update? From performance enhancements to cutting-edge technology integration? How has Tesla fine-tuned the solar panel for peak efficiency? What updates will impact your driving experience from speed to range? And how does the Cybertruck 2023's solar panel stand out in the ever-evolving world of electric vehicles? Buckle up! because we're about to unravel the most recent advancements in solar technology and performance, and they're bound to leave you in awe. But first, if you're as excited as I am about Tesla's game-changing innovations, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you're always the first to know when we drop the latest Tesla updates. Now, let's dive into the world of Cybertruck 2023. The mind-blowing secret feature Along with a futuristic design and a superior propulsion system, the Tesla Cybertruck 2023 solar roof option is one that will delight tech enthusiasts. The solar roof option is a feature that allows the truck to generate electricity from sunlight and use it to power the vehicle. Solar panels are devices that convert sunlight into electricity. They are made from silicon semiconductor materials. Silicon is a common element that can be found in sand and soil. Silicon panels are made from silicon cells. Each shell contains a layer of pure silicon and a layer of doped silicon. The pure silicon layer is called the P layer, and the doped silicon layer is called the N layer. The PI layer has many excess electrons, and the N layer has a shortage of electrons. Electricity from the solar panels on the Cybertruck will be transferred to the vehicle's battery. The battery will use this current to power the vehicle. The solar panels on the Cybertruck are designed to withstand harsh weather conditions such as rain, wind, and snow. These panels are also designed for long life. The solar panel can generate up to 15 miles of range per day, depending on the weather and location. This is based on the assumption that the solar panel receives an average of 5 hours of peak sunlight per day, and that the Cybertruck has an energy consumption of 30 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. This means you can add up to 5,475 miles of free and clean energy per year just by parking your truck under the sun. This is equivalent to driving across the U.S. from coast to coast almost twice. You can explore new places and destinations without worrying about finding a charging station or running out of battery. This is equivalent to saving about $1095 per year on electricity costs. Assuming the national average electricity rate of 20 cents per kilowatt hour, you can reduce your carbon footprint by about 4.4 metric tons of CO2 per year. Assuming the national average grid emission factor of 0.8 kg of CO2 per kilowatt hour, this is free and clean energy because you don't have to pay for it or emit any greenhouse gases. Surprising changes in design and specs. Now onto the intriguing realm of design and specs. Has Tesla thrown any curveballs in this latest update? The answer is a resounding yes. The Cybertruck's solar panel option extends beyond just energy generation. The solar panel option can support your camping and outdoor activities with up to 2 kilowatts of AC power, which is enough to run a small electric stove, a portable heater, a speaker, and some lights. You can enjoy cooking, heating music, and lighting with your truck's power supply. Moreover, Tesla has integrated smart features, like a foldable ramp that allows you to load and unload your bikes, kayaks, or other gear with ease. The ramp is integrated into the tailgate and can be deployed or retracted with the push of a button. 
you can easily access your cargo and gear without lifting or dragging them. The solar panel option also features a retractable Tanyu cover that protects your cargo from the elements and creates a spacious bed for sleeping. The Tono cover is made of slats that are linked together in a flexible format. The slats contain solar cells that are electrically connected to a photovoltaic charging system and battery, 